okay so uh, now we will jump right into with uh, starting with kotlin so uh, in this training uh, we will like mostly structure this as we will uh, study first about kotlin we will master kotlin and then we will uh, go to the android studio and build some app okay so what is a program let's let's go to the basics so you can think of a program as a series of instruction for the system to perform some action okay so i give some instruction a series of instruction such as a is equals to this b is equals to this and then perform a plus b and then print what is a plus b so this is a program for example you could write a program that creates a birthday card in the program you could write an instruction to print congratulatory text or calculate someone's age from their birth year okay so that is a program what is a programming language just like you use human language to communicate with another person you use programming language to communicate with the operating system of the computer fortunately programming language are less complex than human languages and quite logical so you might be thinking that english or hindi is very easy why do we need to study c++ or kotlin or java they are not they are very typical so they are not typical when we will end this Uh, journey of our kotlin you you will be very you will be master in kotlin so and they are logical like when i say a is equals to 5 that means a is equals to 5 that does not mean anything else okay so android apps are written in kotlin programming language kotlin is a modern language created to develop created to help developers write code efficiently with a few errors as possible okay so that's why we have chosen kotlin so what was the creation of kotlin why was uh, you might have seen in the previous video that in 2019 the kotlin uh, the kotlin was made as a official language for the app development so how the kotlin was created kotlin was invented to solve a developer's challenge of chat print they needed a simpler tool than java to work with their main product called intellij idea totally written in it the guys investigated the alternatives stayed unsatisfied and decided to in invent their own language so uh, uh, at the start the android apps were made in c++ and then they moved to java and they were pretty comfortable in java but what was the problem was the problem was the main problem was the java code in java was very redundant and there were many problems so uh, one day google called uh, jetbrains that uh, they should look into the matter so what jetbrains does did they invented their own language so kotlin was invented to solve developer challenge of jetbrains they needed a simpler tool than java to work with their main product called intellij idea the guys investigated the alternative so they invented their own language okay so the main key features of kotlin are the kotlin offer a number of advantage in using or learning it okay kotlin programmers have access to all java frameworks and libraries while having the ability to write more clear and concise code so kotlin is like just a kid of java so it has all the frameworks all the libraries of java and it has a it is a modern language so it is a it has a less a clear and concise code they can use both languages while building a mobile solution and easily migrate their projects if needed so uh, if i am writing a code in particularly in kotlin like i am building a uh, mobile app uh, so i can build a mobile app while using kotlin and java both simultaneously i can write one code in java another code in kotlin and mix matches if if needed okay so why are we using kotlin so the main reasons are uh, kotlin is java based kotlin has a familiar program kotlin has string insertion kotlin uses autocast kotlin has arguments and equals 
kotlin has expression and property so i'll be explaining each of them what uh, what does java base mean kotlin programming lang kotlin programming language is a uh, is uh, more recognizably uh, like uh, it has a java based programming language so it is more usable like java is a very old programming language and uh, java environment and platform in kotlin basically runs on java environment and platform okay uh, this means that existing uh, java based project can seamlessly run on this language okay so what is fam familiar program so the syntax or and the basic structure of this programming language are extremely easy and uh, familiar the reason being kotlin is uh, java based programming language and the syntax makes use of oop do oop domain object oriented programming domain okay these are the most familiar syntax and language of coding so uh, what is string insertion we we will be looking into it in uh, next videos but i'll cover it so uh, like um, the string used in kotlin is same as java and very simple and familiar way of making changes in code okay so the other three we will be looking into it in a while so just hang on okay so the features of kotlin okay ha huh. uh, we have uh, learned we have studied the uh, definition of kotlin or we have studied kotlin in the uh, second video or the third video okay so it has very um, much very more technical terms like kotlin is a cross platform statistically typed general purpose programming language with type inference okay so we will be looking into these terms now so what is a cross platform language so a cross platform language can be used in any operating system so the code written in kotlin on windows can be executed on mac os as well as linux as well as uh, any other operating system and vice versa okay and uh, there is st statistically typed so what is a statistically typed uh, language so a statically typed language is a language where variables variable types are known at the compile time such as java c or c++ in most of these languages type must be expressed in expressly indicated by the programmer okay so before compiling the code uh, the we have we know the uh, variables variable type used okay so this means that the language is able to tell the data type of any variable during the compile time and does not allow a variable to have values of different data types in a simple program so uh, i have defined an integer a is equals to 5 so before compiling the program the compiler knows that a is an integer that simply means that okay so what is type inference this means that the language can automatically detect the data type so when i define any variable a is equals to 5 the language is able to uh, able to detect the data type such as the data type of a is an integer okay what is a jvm java virtual machine so jvm is an extract machine it is a specification that provides runtime environment in which java bytecode can be executed so we will be looking more into it in a while but overall jvm is a virtual machine an abstract machine that provides a runtime environment for java so java ex java code is executed in it by it so that uh, it enables the computer to run java programs or similar language such as kotlin that are also compiled by java bytecode so it helps run the program jvm are available for many hardware and software platform that is jvm platform dependent jvm is platform dependent okay so what are the operations of jvm the jvm loads code like i have written the code in the compiler what now the jvm loads the code the it verifies the code it executes the code and it provides the runtime environment okay so that's all for this video stay tuned